welcome back to my channel uh, sorry it's been 11 months since i last updated it and the reason for this i'll explain in a second but i guess i thought okay maybe i'll update next month and then next month became five months and then we're here but anyway as you can see i'm bored again and what's happened is my hair actually did grow um as expected i would show some pictures somewhere here or some videos here of the progress since the fifth month or since the last time i posted uh, but what happened was I this is just my opinion I'm not saying that's the reason it didn't grow or maybe even if I did something different it would have everything was okay but I think around the around this area there were some bald spots there that I didn't like so so if for example I wanted to do like um a side pattern it wouldn't it wouldn't look nice at all it would just look weird because it was just bold and I didn't feel very comfortable with that. And then there were some areas that were a bit thin that I would like. The sides were okay. So, but anyway, about, I decided that I was going to go for a second hair transplant and I decided to do that very quickly. Uh, so I went for my hair transplant um, last week. So it's about six days now. So tomorrow make it a week that I went for my hair transplant. So as you can see, the main areas that was focused on was just the middle. So just here. Um, let me come a bit closer. So it's just around here, as you can see, but nothing to the sides. It was just here. So I had 1,700 grafts. I didn't go through Longevita this time around. I decided to go directly to the, um, to the clinic that I used before, but it wasn't the same clinic. It was the same company, but not the same clinic. So I'll put the details of the clinic I went to. Uh, the pain was much more excruciating this time around. I don't know, maybe it was because it's my second time of doing it, but I cried so much and <laughs> it was just terrible. I, yeah, it was an aesthetic again that was absolutely, oh, it was disgusting. It was a disgusting feeling. I can't explain it. So for me to do it again, then I knew that I really wanted to do it because it was painful. But anyway, uh, the only downside is my hair grew and I could actually do a ponytail. So I'll show a video of when I did my first ponytail properly. Um, this was like two weeks ago before I went for my hair transplant and I had to shave it all off. The reason, uh, you probably won't be able to see it even if I come very close. But what's happened is because I still have the um, existing um, follicles, like the transplant I did in November 2021. They're growing here, but you can't see it. But because you have the little dots of the new air transplant, so it just looks like nothing is happening. So I haven't lost all my hair from 2021. I <laughs> know it's there, but it's just not, it's not, it's not very obvious. But yeah, so I thought I'll do this quick video. I don't really know what else to say. Um, oh, the only other thing is for the donor area, it's much more sensitive than it was the first time I went for it. So I'll turn around so you can see what it looks like. Again, it might look a bit scary because what they decided to do was to... I'll turn around and I'll explain. So as you can see here, it looks like they took from a big vast of um, donor area. But what's happened here is they decided to do that to make sure that they... Um, they could just pick and choose. So that way, because I've done this before, so that way one area won't be so concentrated and dense or where it will be very sparse, sorry, not dense. So they decided to take around. So that's why it looks a lot bigger than previously. If you have any questions, please put it down in the comments and I will get to it. But thank you very much for your patience and I'll see you soon.